Welcome! This is the 13th in my series of climate mythbusters, and the myth I'm going to bust today is that climate is insensitive to carbon dioxide. Let's start, as usual, with the myth conception involved here. Climate sensitivity is the temperature change caused by a doubling of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The IPCC claims that it is about 2.5 degrees centigrade. So if we doubled the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere currently, global temperatures would increase by about 2.5 degrees centigrade. However, the real sensitivity, according to this myth, is 1.1 degrees centigrade, so that would make carbon dioxide less than half as effective as the IPCC claims. And that's according to the well-known climatologist Lord Christopher Monckton, the product of hundreds of years of inbreeding in the British aristocracy and someone who has zero scientific qualifications. Well, let's see what the data actually says. It speaks for itself. If you use theoretical climate models, they say that the climate sensitivity is about 3 plus or minus 1.5 degrees centigrade. If you use actual measurements, it comes out to be about 3 plus or minus 1 degree centigrade. In fact, there are eight different methods of measuring this parameter, and most of them come out at 3 or higher. So it would seem that the estimate of 2.5 degrees centigrade by the IPCC is rather on the conservative side. In fact, they've been criticized for being too conservative in this particular matter. So why is this obscure parameter, climate sensitivity, so important? Well, if you use the IPCC estimate for it, 2.5 degrees centigrade for doubling of carbon dioxide, it would predict that global temperatures would increase by somewhere between 1.5 and, and 3 degrees centigrade, with the most likely value being about 2 degrees centigrade over pre-industrial levels. However, if they're using a too high a value for the climate sensitivity, then all these curves would shift to the left, and the impact of increasing carbon dioxide would be much, much less. So let's test to see which of these is correct. We're currently at about 410 parts per million. And that would say that our range of temperatures increased from pre-industrial levels would be somewhere between just over 1 to about 2.5 degrees centigrade, with an average of around about 1.6. So what is the temperature increase that we've actually observed in that time? It's right there, right on the black line, about 1.6 degrees centigrade. Now some of the global warming advocates say we could quite easily tolerate 800 parts per million. And that's up there. And so the range of likely temperatures that we would come up with under those circumstances is somewhere between 3 degrees centigrade increase in temperature and 7 degrees centigrade, with the most likely value being about 4.5 degrees centigrade. Now one thing you have to remember here that this is global temperature and land temperatures are increasing nearly twice as fast as that. So we would expect something like 8 or 9 degrees centigrade increase in land temperatures. And how long would that take to achieve? At the current rate of increase in carbon dioxide, that would be in 2150. I think it's time to start drawing conclusions from all of this. We've learned that a low climate sensitivity means that even if we put more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, it would have little impact on our climate. A higher sensitivity means that a greater impact. The results of eight different approaches to determining the climate sensitivity say that it is about 1.5 to 4.5 degrees centigrade, with an average of about 3. This means that the idea that we have a low climate sensitivity is indeed a myth. Further, if we carry on putting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere at the current rate, our great-grandchildren may experience temperatures of about 8 degrees centigrade warmer than today. So this is not only a myth, it's a very dangerous myth. So if you see somebody using this argument, please post a link to this video and tell them they're full of nonsense. Until next time, goodbye.